is that I'm the chief scientist of Quantinium, so which includes providing, uh, providing a vision, scientific vision for the whole company. The way we think, the way thoughts work, the way the world works is not well represented by the currently available mathematical tools people have been using for artificial intelligence. And we now have an entirely new, new set of tool, tools which we call compositional. That's why we call compositional intelligence. Rather than thinking about how something is made up, we think about how people and things interact with each other. So if I want to know who you are, then I've got two approaches to do that. We do like people did in the long a uh, long time ago, we, we do anatomy. <laughs> we chop you up and we see what is inside and then we learn things. That's actually how a lot of science works now. Like mathematics is a lot about breaking big things down in small things. Physics is entirely about breaking big things out thing in small things. Now, I think I would learn, learn to know you better if we actually talk or we do things together. We go to a restaurant or we go to a movie or whatever. We learn to know each other then by interacting with each other, not by chopping each other up. And that's sort of the whole point of the kind of new mathematics which we are using now. It's all about how things are related to each other, how they interact with each other. And this is what we learned is the best way to look at quantum mechanics. The best way to look at quantum is through these glasses about how systems interact with each other. I'm not the first one to say this. The first one to say this is somebody very famous in relation to quantum mechanics, namely Erwin Schrödinger. He was convinced that we should look to quantum mechanics through the glasses of how things interact. But he didn't know how to do that. He didn't know how to do that. We know how to do it. We've done it. What I'm hoping for Quantinium as a whole is that it will be a company which has such a broad, a broad spectrum of activities, like being producing basically already helping lots of companies to become actually quantum active, start to, you to, to take all the fruits of quantum and to do this both in relation to making a better, getting better understanding of chemicals so that we, for example, can develop vaccines and things like that much quicker. So this would be a radical change. Like uh, we are also working on carbon capture, which basically would be one, an amazing solution for uh, all the problems we now have with ecology. We should be very adventurous in which new areas we can actually find quantum advantage. So now there is a chance to actually go to such a broad spectrum of uh, scientific disciplines given new mathematical modeling, which, which, which is an important thing in its own right, independent of quantum, which would be an important thing in its own right, just like understanding how meaning and grammar interact was also an important thing in its own right, independent of quantum. But then again, these theories will be naturally quantum native. They'll be naturally quantum native. They want to live on a quantum computer, and a quantum computer will give huge advantages to deal with them. Continuum is doing it, starting by the very, very foundations of things, thinking, thinking very adventurous, thinking long term, because that's, it has, that's where it has to be done. That's where it has to be done. And we are doing it. We are doing it. A lot of companies won't be doing it. We are doing it.